it's Lolly, it's me, Bryce Lee. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Adopt Me's brand new Winter Vehicles update and seeing if Adopt Me made a mistake and shouldn't have done this update before. So before we get into this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and stab us. How are you today? Bryce Lee, I'm feeling great and I can't wait to fly around in these awesome vehicles. Oh, that's awesome, stab us. Well, let's go. Let's jump round up down to the main centre in three, two, one. Oh, no. Oh, we no. no. Pretzel army. Okay, let's go. Let's take a look at these awesome vehicles. We can see there's a lot of things around here that we can buy. We can buy all of these toys over there. Uh, all the toys, so that's eight things, nine, ten, eleven things, and then twelve, thirteen, fourteen things we have to collect. Uh, Fifteen things, and then if we add on that, sixteen different items we have to collect. And that's just for gingerbread. Also, we need to log in every single day to get all of these, which is really hard, especially in December. A lot of people have like end of year things on for school. So it's really hard to get in every single day. So that's an extra 25 things we have to collect, but we'll ignore that. But pretzel army, now we've got two Robux things we have to put into the game. So let's do some quick math. So pretzel army, I put the prices of everything in, including 20 walrus boxes. So that way you can collect everything. And to get one, just one of everything, everything in this update and that's just gingerbread it costs 705,000 gingerbread which is worth 4,645 robux but then up it to 5,645 plus 400. So you've got to have over 6,000 Robux to get just one of everything in this update. And that's really expensive considering not many people actually have Robux. Like most of Robux's users, like most of you guys don't have Robux, hence why I do all of my Robux giveaways so that you guys can get Robux and you can buy these awesome things in game. But obviously I can't give 6,000 Robux to over a million people. <laughs> and I would love to do that so that every single Pretzel Army member can get one of everything, but it's just so hard. And then there's so many Adopt Me players and these mini games get you, let's say 1,000 per round. And in that case, you've got to get over 700 games in. And each game is every 20 minutes. And to play 700 games, you'd have to play for 10 days straight. And not adopt me days, in real life days. Literally just sitting there playing the mini game. And you have to actually win every mini games. And I know adopt me's like, oh yeah, it's meant to be a big achievement to get all of these. But adopt me is now becoming a collector's game. And it used to be like a role play game, but every single update it's becoming more and more collector's based. And I get that, it's pretty fun to go and collect everything. And when they do buy something, like let's say you grinded to get 10,000. It's a great job if you did grind 10,000. That's actually really hard, especially if you grinded 120,000. In that case, you did a great job because that is super, super hard to do. You've got to play like over 100 games. Let's say you got 10,000 and then you go to trade your pet to see if you can get something like a unicorn and people just don't trade it because other people have Robux. But for the people who don't have Robux, it's just so hard to get all of these items and then adding even more items that you've got to grind for. And this vehicle, you've got to grind for 40 games, which will take a while. So some of you guys have already asked me, and all you need to do is just go through here and I get some people might have missed them You might have teleported to the winter market and it skips right past those vehicles and you're like, where are they? <laughs> Red Slammy, they are right here, which is pretty awesome But we've got two vehicles the toy rescue helicopter and the gift delivery sleigh But Red Slammy, we can see that this is actually a Santa sleigh But it not couldn't call it a Santa sleigh because there is already one in the game Let's go Red Slammy. Let's grab our, our Santa sleigh and let's play around with that but also we need to buy the festive delivery sleigh as well and let's compare the old one to the new one so the old one is pretty awesome it's legendary and it was from Christmas 2019 from remembering correctly and we can just ride around and it's awesome it does float it doesn't fly but it does float which is pretty cool and it can go around like this and I really really like this pretzel army it's just chilling <laughs> it's flying around but pretzel army if we actually go and pull out the brand new one, it is 10 times better because we can't go around on the floor, which is a little bit annoying. But what's good is we can actually press S and we start flying pretzel army and then we can like steer around and we can use it like the old one and you know, go on the path or 
We could press S even more and go up into the sky and fly around in a pretzel army. It is so awesome. So that's how you use it. You use the W key to go down and the S key to go up. Just think of it as like you're using the arrow keys to point where the back of it is going. There are three different tricks, pretzel army. Let's go, pretzel army. Trick B is a, whoa, it's a backflip. <laughs> we can backflip, but my question is, how do these gifts stay in there? How did they not just go flying? Okay, let's jump out. But these gifts, it's in an open bag. How did they not go falling out of it when we were upside down? <laughs> I guess Santa's magic. <laughs> But let's go, Pretzelami. Let's do this again. And we can do trick A. Whoa, trick A is a barrel roll. Okay, let's do that one more time. Trick A. Oh, that's awesome, Pretzelami. And then idle just makes you spin around in a circle so you're in the exact same position or like relatively the same. But Pretzelami, let's quickly head over to Google and let me show you something really funny. Because the sleigh just did a barrel roll, it reminds me of do a barrel roll. It actually does a barrel roll. All of Google does a barrel roll, which is pretty cool. We're still in the same spot because we did the idle trick, but Pretzel Army, this is so cool. We can fly around the Adopt Me Mav gifting presents to everyone. <laughs> Imagine if you actually like Santa in the game. You know what? Let's go. Since it is the holiday season, I did want to do this a little while ago, and I wanted to put on the Santa hat that we usually do. Here it is, Pretzel Army. I do this every year, but speaking of like Christmas merch and like the Christmas hat, I've actually got Christmas merch out now for Salami. So if you want this awesome Christmas merch, all you gotta do is head to the link down in the description below to go to the Pretzel Army official group and you can get all of these awesome designs for really, really cheap. So make sure to head over to the group, join the group if you haven't already so you get notified in the future when I upload merch and do different like polls and chat with you guys. But let's go Pretzel Army. Let's take a look at the next vehicle. Oh my gosh, we were so close to clashing into, we are so close. We were like this far away from crashing. <laughs> okay, Pretzel Army, ready for crash land. In three, two, one, and drop. Oh no! Ah! What on earth? <laughs> that went crazy, Pretzel Army. But let's go, let's buy the next vehicle. And what some people aren't happy about is that this vehicle is Robux. So another Robux item in the game and in the Christmas update. But let's go, Pretzel Army. Let's grab one. Boom! And bada bing, bada boom. Let's go, Pretzel Army. We've got the Toy Rescue Helicopter. There we go, it's in our inventory. Let's go, let's pull it out and let's take a fly around. Okay, let's go. Bam, there it is, Pretzel Army. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. So let's jump out of it and just look at it. Oh, I really, really like that Pretzel Army. It's an awesome design. It's got like gingerbread. It's literally made of gingerbread and I think that's red duct tape. <laughs> but Pretzel Army, I'm not sure whether it was worth all that Robux. It was pretty expensive, 400 Robux. But let's go, let's fly into the sky and let's do a fly around and it is pretty awesome. I think it goes the exact same speed as the other one, which is pretty cool. And it just goes around and I really do like this Pretzel Army. Oh my gosh, if this was actually real though, we would have just completely destroyed it because the helicopter propeller would have cut through that rope like that. That would have been so bad pretzel army. But let's go. Oh, I really like this. And the crash landing is going to be so good. Oh my gosh. But let's go. Let's pull out the old vehicles that these were based off of. So if we pull out plane, we can pull out our old racing monoplane that was in the game and it was actually limited edition and they're pretty rare now pretzel army. But this is what the Santa sleigh was based off of. And this old vehicle has the exact same same tricks and the exact same stuff as the Santa sleigh. So I'm not sure why Adopt Me didn't like change it up a little bit. Maybe they ran out of time and they just needed like an extra update in the year and they just copied all the tricks from this. But Pretzel Army, that's pretty cool. We've got this vehicle here. It would be awesome if we could change the colors of those vehicles though, like how we could change the colors of these. Pretzel Army, let's pull out our helicopter and now we have two different types. We've got the We've got the new one and the old one pretzel army. So you guys can tell what I mean when I say it looks pretty similar, like it's the same sort of body shape. But pretzel army, these are actually really, really awesome. But pretzel army, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below if you think this update was good for Adopt Me or bad, and I'll see you in the next one. Have the best day ever. Peace. Yeah.